We'll move on. The last person we have signed up is Christopher King. Hello, are we there? Are we running? You're on. Go ahead, sir. Mr. Saad bespoke. Uh, Ollie Garrett's friend uh, is uh, Miles is Jim Buchanan, criminal in the past. He's got paying bad checks, and then recently he was to a litigation with Aaron Barfield with Emerald Hayes. And Aaron Barfield has gone public since that the, the emails, I, the text messages I shared with you when he uh, publicly, uh, he privately at the time criticized Jim Buchanan as a, the worst partner he'd ever had, and how he had uh, been involved in hundreds of thousands of dollars of litigation and i've since shown you that that litigation involving his company so that's that's a, uh, a modification of what mr Saad was saying now let's move forward here uh, i'm going to clear the air regarding all of this uh there's a lot of trash talking about me going on regarding this thing with uh red barn and uh, vince sears okay i'm going to make this clear all right we asked you more than a month ago i was at, i was out at martha's vineyard like five weeks ago more six weeks ago when kevin shelton and i asked you what it was that enabled them to start to, to, to run their operations the way they're running their operations. And Mr. Postman said, oh, I'll try to get somebody on this. I'll try to give it. Why do you have to try? You know the answers. Just provide the answers. Then I wrote it in a public information request, okay? Nobody responded. You were supposed to respond to me by the 8th. I waited patiently. You did not. So all this glad handing that's going on right now and everybody's congratulating you on this and that. I'm moving in the right direction. I'm not buying it. And when the podcast comes out, the international podcast, it's going to be clear why I'm not buying it. It's because it's a bad bill of sale. It's a bad batch of goods is what you're offering. All right. Why can't you tell the public the answers to simple questions like that? That you talk about uh, Postman tried to, or I'm sorry, uh, Brick Garza tried to say that Kevin Shelton and I were just now illuminating him to these issues. That's nonsense. There's been news stories about these places going back to 2018. All right. Nonsense. You guys are liars. Nothing more and nothing less. You've known about it and you still won't answer the question. Not only that, you have refused to answer simple questions about what, what happened with the intake when Kevin Shelton tried to apply before. The whole thing with Nate, uh, the Nate Gate issue. You, you haven't released those documents. You gave us back one document, which was the letter that we already had. Okay? So there's no transparency there. You haven't given Sammy Saad his application materials. All right? And, and, and Judge Settle in federal court even lied and said he didn't apply. I showed you the proof of his application. So that's not moving in the right direction, is it? Lastly, you still haven't given us the information as to how Emerald Hayes got those licenses, okay? That was all quiet and undercover. So that's not moving in the right direction. That's total lack of transparency, all right? Those are just the facts. So my point, again, about Vince Sears, and all these places, uh, and Red Barn is not that they should be shut down. My point is that if they're allowed to do it, other people should be allowed to do it. Black, white, whatever, okay? And you won't answer my simple question. That does not in any way breed trust for your agency, period. It's that clear. Furthermore, I have not fact-checked this yet, but I believe that there have been some licenses set aside for the tribes. Listen, I'm a... I'm, part native myself i applaud that but meanwhile you're telling the black folks you can't have any race-based criteria in the whole seconds. thank you compelling government interest framework that i put out nearly tailored compelling government interest i put all that stuff out to you because you may recall i've won civil rights jury trials right which none of you have but oh well, well but we can't do it for blacks we can do it for everybody else all right i've had it Luckily, I have a weekly meeting that usually is right now, but I'm on my way home and I took my lunch hour to have a good time with you and just tell you where we're coming from. Now, y'all have a nice day. And when am I going to get the answers to my questions? Huh? Huh? That's your time, Christopher. Yeah, right. It's always my time. Bye. Fucking liars. Fucking liars. Always, always a pleasure. Um, you can't. We, we, you're just sick. Just yeah. Just no, sorry. I know we can't. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. Well, I talk. I, I can talk. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. 
uh, that's the end of our agenda. Um, and uh, with with that, uh, we will adjourn the uh, board meeting today. We will be back uh, next week for a caucus meeting on. Uh, oh, we have uh, EMT, EMT, this EMT this afternoon. Executive management team meeting this afternoon. Sorry. So tune in for that as well. Uh, thank you all for your patience today. Thank you for your participation. Um, it uh, was uh, mostly very helpful and useful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Sorry, we just can't. Oh, that's for you more because then we.